Hi, I'm Nick Pelletier, and welcome to my bus. Come on in, let me show you what's in the fridge. During the COVID-19 pandemic, this is where I call home. It's not much, but keeps you isolated and uh, it's all I need. So let me show you the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Got two burner stove, beautiful sink. Even got a dishwasher, my two hands, and uh, that's all you need. Propane ran stove. There's a few different versions for how we can get water. Water comes one of three ways here. From the hose outside. Best pressure, can go forever, but you have to be hooked up to a ground source in order to do that. Number two is down here. We have one of these water jugs and we actually have a switch underneath here. Turns on a water pump, which you turn that and water comes out with force still, but is limited. It's only how much water you have in here. The third option comes from the tank way in the back. That is a gravity fed tank, which it comes through the walls up and out, but it has a very light stream and not a lot of pressure. That's kind of more of a storage unit. That's a sink. Stove is a timeless classic. Two burner, propane. You gotta turn it on in the back. You turn the nozzle and open the hatch. Then you gotta turn them on here and uh, light away. I've never had to change propane tank yet. It's lasted quite a while, so which is good. I can cook pretty much all I need though. Underneath the stove, pretty much more storage. Got all my plates and pots and pans. Everything I need, cutlery. We're working with the bare necessities. Got some forks, knives, spatulas, can opener, the classics. And this is something you really need for when you're driving. You gotta do this up here and uh, make sure that it doesn't fly open when you're driving because then you're in for a real mess. This is my pantry. This is where I keep all my dry foods and non-perishables. Everything you need from rice to bananas, it's all in here. Underneath the bed is our storage unit. We got four cubby holds, pants, shirts, boxers, stuff like that. Got our dirty laundry bin. And this here is my bike traveling case. So this could be considered a spare bedroom, I guess. My closet's back here. Got a little bit more storage under there. As for the plugins, there's a plugin right back there. And there's also one plugin under here. But I use one of these extension cords and uh, extras to charge everything I need. Now, everybody's favorite part of the house, the refrigerator. Let's see what we got. Oh, the freezer fell out. That's all right. We got everything we need in the fridge. We got our uh, veggies, got our meats. I like to eat a healthy lifestyle, so most important thing though, gotta have your sauces. The sauce is boss. Gotta load up on sauces, keep things interesting. And a really important part again, we gotta make sure that we can load her up and lock her down for when we're ripping on the road. Don't want her moving anywhere. The garage is behind the scenes. This is where all the magic happens. This here is all you need to get power from the sun. We got the solar panels on the roof. We got the solar charge controller here. We got the inverter for the uh, 
solar power. We got four car batteries to keep things running. And we got the uh, breaker box that sends it through to the plugins and everything on the inside. So we can have uh, a lot of stuff running. And especially now because I'm just living uh, on a property where I have access to shore power. We have the uh, plug-in here and you can plug pretty much anything you want into the plugins if you're running off shore power. There's pretty much no uh, limit, so that's it. Here we got the propane tank. This is how I cook from the inside. Just gotta open up this hatch here, turn the nozzle and the propane goes through the pipes to the stove. Now when I'm done cooking, I just have to close her up and shut her down. Here's the water tank we use when we go on longer trips that we're off the grid and we need to carry excess water. Now that's for gray water. The spa mat now is a gray water disposal space. So that's where the gray water comes in from the bottom goes and out there. But again, if you're on the road, I just kind of let it fall or I have a bucket that I can put under and capture it if I'm using soap or something like that. Now this is what's under the hood of my house. 7.3 liter turbo diesel. Our emergency hatch doubles as our private gym. All you gotta do is Pop the top, grab a hold, and pump some out. Now there's a number of different options for sleeping. And when you're on a trip and have the bus packed full of boys, well, we've experimented with a few. We've had people sleep here, and here, even back this way, and finally here. You have to make the most of the space you got, so sometimes it gets a little tight. This is actually another uh, sleeping utensil, but as you can see right now, it is my privacy, along with the world map. This is my beautiful head-to-toe mirror. Takes up no room at all and uh, does the job. These hooks are really handy. You can do so much with them. I got four of them up. You can hang stuff from them. You can... Uh, Work out on them with bands. You can do uh, all sorts of things from them. This here is my coat hanger. It's what I hang all my clothes on to dry when they're wet. Because winters in Canada are cold, this was my best friend in those long cold nights, the old space heater. Now I can have as many as I want while I'm on uh, shore power, but on solar power, I can only have one. So it's uh, definitely nice to have though. Despite insulating the bus well, Still cold as hell in the winter. Another thing I did to help with insulation was uh, put a little bit of carpet in. This was what the floor is usually looks like. But I put carpet in just so it's a bit better insulation. There's two identical storage uh, containers that double as seats. So this is a chair, but right underneath it, I keep all my biking stuff in this one. And in this one, I keep all my camera stuff and camping gear and everything I need for the trips I go on. Welcome to the office slash dinner table. This is where we uh, do our eating and working on the computer and anything you need a table for. Now, a good thing about the table is that if you take out this pole underneath and slide everything off you can fold it away for trips just like that and then when you want to put it back up all you do is put her up and slide this piece underneath there you go you can even get a beautiful view you just pull back the curtain take a look natural light for days you may think I get lonely in the bus here all alone, but that's not the case. This here is Jenkins. He's been with me on every single road trip I've ever been on, and I've been in every vehicle I've ever owned, so 
He's the co-pilot of this ship. Well, I thank you for coming along with me on this bus journey. I hope you enjoyed it. But you know what? It has come to that time. And it is time for you all to go. Keep her not so bad. Bye.